please. Allow me to show you something. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Keisha, and today I'll be doing my wash day routine featuring the Mayel pomegranate and honey detangling and moisturizing shampoo, as well as the Shea Moisture Mocha Fruit Conditioner. So, if you want to see how my wash day routine went using these products, continue watching but so you also saw that i bought the maya products specifically the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner from the pomegranate and honey line and i promised you all that i would do a review or i would show you all me using the product so here goes um starting off just to say when i wash my hair i usually wash it so when i wash my hair i usually do three washes the first wash is to get all the dirt and the grime out and you will notice that you hardly see any lather in your hair when you know you're doing that <laughs> when you're getting that dirt and grime out the second rinse usually you start to get a bit more lather and you get to throw out your hair some more and the third wash um that is when i get all the lather it's thick it's light you get all the lather from the shampoo and that's how i know that my hair is clean so usually when i wash my hair i would wash it until it gets to that state and usually it takes about three washes with the shampoo to get to that state so um for this shampoo you can see the texture it's very uh, creamy light it looks very moisturizing now what i would say with using the shampoo when i got to the third wash um my hair felt like i don't know how to describe it my hair felt like light it felt kind of moisturized but at the same time it felt a little too clean and if how do i describe that where it could get matted a bit easily so um i wouldn't recommend combing out your hair using this shampoo well, usually when you're using a shampoo, you don't necessarily comb out your hair, but definitely I could have probably done it after the second wash, but from the third wash, I would not have passed a comb through it because I think it would have been a bit too tangled and nutted. Oh, how could I forget to mention the smell is heavenly. <sighs> the, mm, it, it smells like bubblegum, but like, an adult bubble gum like it smells really great but my hair did feel light and moisturized however i didn't like that kind of squeaky too clean feeling that left makes your hair feel kind of nutted um so then i use the shea moisture mocha fruit moisturizing conditioner and that definitely brought the moisture back into my hair and I assume that is what would have happened if I used the pomegranate and honey conditioner from Mayel but it was sold out on the site and I didn't bother to purchase it so yeah conditioner um it did bring the moisture back in my hair and like the slip that I got from it like when I was combing up my hair like the comb was just colliding through my hair so uh i it is a good product i guess it is a good product i don't think my review is like in depth like ugh. i want to say that on my hair products conceal right um but those two products i would recommend it for persons who have low porosity hair i think the conditioner did a good job at moisturizing my hair now with the course of the mild shampoo I'm not gonna say like ugh, you have to get it because in Pennywise I think it's about $110 if I'm correct so it's not like I have to get shampoo I think I would put like Shea Moisture even the Aussie Moisture Shampoo I would kind of put it above that but the smell and the I guess the texture of it it's not so bad is it would it be a holy grail uh i don't think so but we'll see when i try other shampoos i'll be able to better tell you so 
but that is basically my review on it <laughs> if you if you try the shampoo um comment below let me know your thoughts on it um if you wanted to try it you listen to other reviews let me know what other reviews said about it um so you know we can have an idea of is this Maya pomegranate and honey shampoo worth the 100 and something dollars that it costs so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching yeah so thank you guys for watching um i didn't do much with my hair i just basically did a very loose messy kino style and just did some edges put on some makeup so i could look a little cute thanks for watching bye